Does seeing a rainbow in meditation mean alignment? Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean alignment, but it means full awareness. So, so in a way, yes, because it means that you're a, 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 lo- a larger perspective of your awareness, expanded awareness. So it's, it's alignment as in um, you're becoming more aware of the soul, of the spirit. You're becoming more aware of the subconscious and superconscious minds. So yes, that's, that's a very, very good symbol. Appreciate all the, all the love and hearts and trees and growth. <laughs> Thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you, everyone. All right. Always learning up in here. It's a whole vibe. It's always a vibe. It's always a vibe. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love it. I love it. Thank you. You're very welcome. So on that note, who all here who's who's not already a mentee, who all here uh, really like wants to accelerate their own growth and spiritual development? Put an X for accelerate. Put an X for accelerate. If you're really wanting to accelerate your growth and development, if you're wanting to um, know these things to be true, not just not just believe them or, uh, you know, it sounds good. Okay, so everybody put in an X in the chat. I'm, I'm telling you, man, do yourself a favor. Become a mentee right now today. Um, use the promo code. Actually, you know what? There's a lot of X's here. Hold on one second. Okay, so the promo code, I had to increase how many there were because um, there were there were, there were only like four, uh, six left. So I increased it back up to like 25, so we should have plenty. Um, so if you, if you do yourself a favor, use the promo code WORTHY. If Jeff, if you could throw that back in there, use the promo code WORTHY. Go to my page the, uh, under metaphysical, or the more info on my page, click metaphysical mentorship, Put in the promo code. It'll take 99% off for the first month. And, and so it'll be like 50 cents or something like that for the first month. And give yourself just one month to see what kind of value you can extract from the mentor program. You know, you'll get the keys to success course that will teach you how to strengthen your concentration and your uh, willpower. You know, we were talking about willpower earlier, but I'm telling you, concentration is the number one tool for spiritual evolution. Well, your dreams are, but you have to give you have to give your attention to it. I mean, attention is your greatest commodity. So concentration is the most vital power in all of spirituality. You know what I mean? And so there's lessons that, you, that you'll that you get and receive and build off of, but the, the you'll have the Dream Interpretation Masterclass, which is going to teach you how to interpret your dreams for yourself. You have the Visualization Course. Um, you have the Life Force Energy and uh, uh, Chakras Course. Uh, it's very powerful. Lots of resources, and you'll be a part of the community on the Discord chat. So I'm telling you, please, please do yourself a favor. Try it out for one month. Use the promo code worthy and see and see if it see if it doesn't accelerate things. See if you aren't farther at the end of this month than what you what you experienced last month. I guarantee your growth will go so much further. I'm telling you, I've I've met a ton of people over the last decade who were into metaphysics and spirituality and all of these things, but I I have never experienced someone I can't say I can't say that but I've experienced a large handful like a huge amount of people who have taken these this type of approach and accelerated tremendously versus it's it's only like very far and few between to people who are kind of like doing it on their own hey appreciate it appreciate the TikTok. Hey, uh, Miranda can let you know. <laughs> Miranda can let you know she was a student for a long time. This is a little more laid back than the, you know, because she was in she was in the coursework where, you know, we were meditating for 15 minutes a day. Um, I mean, that's as far as how far she had gotten meditating 15 minutes a day, reading a 30 minute exercise, doing the memory exercise, writing down your dreams, interpreting your dreams every single day, doing co- fits a 10 minute concentration exercise every single day. I mean, I got up to the point where I was doing a, a 45 minute meditation, a 30 minute astral projection exercise, a 30 minute concentration exercise, a 30 minute visualization exercise. Um, you know, I was doing like four hours of spiritual disciplines. That was my cosign. <laughs> Appreciate it. 
Appreciate it. So yeah, you will not regret it. It is the best best investment into yourself that you can possibly make. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm telling you. <laughs> you know what I mean, so just give it a, give it a try. See if see if you like it. Plus, you get a part of be a part of the community in the Discord chat. So you can put all your dreams in there every single day and get them interpreted every single day, not just you know whenever I go live once every two weeks. But uh, but I say all of that to say that uh, I'm about to bounce up out of here unless unless anybody else has any more dreams that they want to uh, get interpreted or any more um, any more uh, questions that they have. Oops. Have narcolepsy and take medication that suppresses REM sleep, so essentially I don't dream anymore. Ah, you do dream anymore. You do dream, but the... Um, okay, I'll wait for your dream, uh, Dianar. Uh, thank you for the promo. You're absolutely welcome. So you do dream, it's just you aren't remembering it based on the, the medication that you're taking. So um, what I would suggest then is definitely take the memory exercise. I believe the memory... Uh, actually, let me let me check and see. Okay, I just want to go and check and see the memory exercise. Uh, the memory technique is also in that more info for anybody. You don't have to be a mentee uh, to see. I didn't know if it was just for the mentees or not. Um, but the memory exercise, do that um, frequency rising because one, that's going to help you with the... No Actually, you know what? I got the permanent healing book right here. But I'm pretty sure the narcolepsy is going to be um, needing to be more attentive and aware of what's going on throughout your throughout your day. But let's see. I wonder if narcolepsy is even in here. Narcolepsy, yep. Okay, so this book, uh, Permanent Healing and Quantum Mechanics of Healing, it is going to tell you the thought calls because your thoughts create your reality, right? So it's going to tell you the way that you've been using your thoughts that have created an emotion, that have that emotional symptoms, which un untreated have created um, a physical ailment. You know, ailment, the suffix ment means mind. So... I'm going to read to you the thought calls behind narcolepsy and see, see what resonates with you. Denial of stimulation to learn because there is no desire to understand. Trying to escape information received. Refusal to perceive. So that refusal to perceive part is the part that I was saying, you know, needs to become more aware throughout the day. So refusal to perceive, uh, trying to escape information received. So here's the remedy. Here's how you can use your your mind to then create a remedy for this narcolepsy banish fear identify your fears now identify your greatest desires move on the desires and the fears over time will vanish so that that's going to help you to create a new perspective a new perspective about yourself a new perspective on life all right i joined welcome welcome suge welcome excited to have you beautiful beautiful excellent cars symbolize my spirit for me excellent good Wow, thank you so much. You're more than welcome. You're more than welcome. I'm going to read it one more time for you. What was that book again? This is Permanent Healing. If you go to my page under the more info, you can click on um, Meta Books. It's short for Metaphysical Books. Meta Books, it'll take you to the website, one of the pages on the website that has all of these books that I recommend. It's the Green Book. The Green Book, Permanent Healing. So I'll read it again for you. And then after I read... Um, uh, D Dianara's dream if anyone else has something they want from this book I'll go ahead and read it out loud right now so the thought cause that is causing the ailment of narcolepsy is denial of stimulation to learn because there is no desire to understand so you're not really looking to like learn from life because you have no reason to understand like there's, there's nothing you're wanting to understand trying to escape from information received so, so information is being sent to you but you're wanting to avoid it. So refusal to perceive. You're wanting you're want, you're avoiding and refusing to see things differently than what you how you see them now. Thus you're just going to sleep. I want I want to remain unconscious to these things. You know what I mean? I want to remain unconscious to what's going on in my life. I want to remain unconscious to the calls of my life. So that's why I was saying increasing your awareness is going to do this. Banish fear. Identify your fears because fear is a is a matter of unawareness. I mean, literally, fear is a matter of unawareness. When the the lights are off and it's dark, you're afraid of the dark. Why? Because light represents awareness. 
And so darkness represents unawareness. Oh, damn, you can still see me from the glow of the, <laughs> the screen. I thought I was going to do something slick. <laughs> cut the light off. But if I cut the light off all the way, you know what I mean? You don't see nothing. So you're unaware of what's going on. I could be making funny faces, silly faces at y'all. You wouldn't know because you're unaware. You know what I mean? But light will represent awareness. And so unawareness, being unaware, you know, is, is um, you know, you need to increase your awareness. So fear, or that's what I was getting to. Fear is all about unawareness, things that you're unaware of. So banish fear. Identify your fears. So identify what you're afraid of and then find ways to increase your awareness of that. You know, now identify your greatest desires. Move on your desires and the fears over time will vanish because what you put your attention on grows. Energy flows where the attention goes. If you're putting your attention on your fears, then you're going to be fueling more energy into your fears. Thus, a reason for you to want to become unaware and unconscious. You know what I mean? But if you shift your attention over to your desires, then move it over to there. So a concentration exercise would also help with this because that's going to help you to control your attention to then control where your energy is flowing, where your attention is going. So, Dianara said, I had a dream where I was being chased by a room full of monsters. Wow. Put a C in the chat if you had a dream being chased by anything. Put a C in the chat if you've had if you've had a dream being chased by anything. Okay. Okay, beautiful. So, remember, everything in your dream is an aspect of your own consciousness. Everything in your dream is an aspect of your own consciousness. So, whatever you're running from, the monsters, it's, it's a part of you. It's a monstrosity within yourself. I mean, it's not necessarily a monster, but you view it as a monstrosity. It's something that you're wanting to avoid, something about yourself that you're afraid of. You know what I mean? So uh, I gave the same example earlier. You know, earlier in my life, I was very confrontational. You know what I mean? Somebody say something to me, boy, you get, you, it's, it's action on sight. You know what I mean? Very confrontational. But I would, I would, I would act like that's not me. You know I mean, because I'm a very lighthearted guy, I get along with everybody. You know, but every once in a while, something like that would jump off. But I would, I would act like that was not me. That monstrosity within me that was that was knocking people out. You know, what I mean, for, for little to no reason that that actually needed for that to happen. You know, there was no real threat other than to my ego. <laughs> you know, what I mean. That monstrosity, I was trying to avoid it. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to be honest with myself and admit that it was there. I was pointing the blame on that. Man, they made me like that. This condition made me like that. You know what I mean? And so with a dream like this, you need to identify what that is for yourself. What part of yourself do you find so, you know, ugly or, or monstrous that you're wanting to avoid that it's even there? And you need to stop and turn around and face it. You need to face it. And then if you do that strong enough and well enough throughout while you're in your waking life, then you'll notice you'll have a dream here soon where you're running from that same monster, but then you stop, turn around and face it. And then that monster will transform and really show you what's at the core of that. And that's what I'm really excited about for you. Premise shared the live. Appreciate it. They get a follow. Oh, wait, you, you done shared the live like three times already. <laughs> Making me tear up. Well, good. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. That if you're tearing up, then that means that you must already be aware of what it's what it's speaking to. So you're already on on the way to being able to identify what it comes from. Fake. Yeah, I'm as fake as they come, man. This is just a this is just a screen. This ain't a real person. Of course it's fake. <laughs> don't believe nothing I say, Orion. Li Orion, listen to what I tell everybody on here. Don't listen to a word that I say. Don't believe a single word that I say. Cakewood, share the live. They get a follow. Appreciate it. Appreciate the love. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see. There was something else on here that somebody said I was going to comment on. My narcolepsy symptoms began when I was 13, and that is when my parents separated. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, appreciate that, Trish. So, too solid. Or, I mean, uh, frequency rising. Frequency rising. If you became a mentee, what I want you to do is, when you join the Discord chat, um, go to the, uh, to the um, Zoom recordings channel. And click on there, go to the Zoom recordings, and there's one about rhythmic breathing. 
I would highly suggest doing some rhythmic breathing because that is going to help. Uh, oh man, that's, that's going to do so much. That's going to do so much. It's going to relieve so much trauma. It's going to relieve so much of the energy blockages that are holding you back that are at the cause of all of this and probably many other things as well. I would highly suggest that you do that. I think that might be what we do next Tuesday, mentees. I think that might be what we do next Tuesday is uh, some rhythmic breathing as a group again. I think we might do that. Do you believe in manifesting? Whether I believe in manifesting or not, it is real. Everyone is always manifesting at all times. I mean, we all are powerful manifestors. You can't become no powerful of a manifester than you are right now. It's just a matter of becoming more conscious of what you are manifesting versus unconsciously manifesting. Again, thank you. I'm learning so much from you tonight. Beautiful, beautiful. And this is just one little night. You know what I mean? We just kicking back, shooting the shit. Interdimensional beings visiting you. At times, only the ones that I allow. The other ones are too petrified to come visit me. <laughs> Not really all the other ones, but any any malefic beings. 